early life origins of health. Can you do something to protect from the non-communicable diseases such as obesity, allergy? Can you do something early in your life? Well, we believe so. The very fact that all of these conditions have increased so dramatically in such a short space of time means that the environment is obviously having an effect on early programming. We can't explain any of this purely on the basis of our genes. So if we can understand what's driving this in the wrong direction, we should hopefully be able to steer it back in the right direction. Uh, and we know that early life conditions uh, are a critical element of this, that many things in early life, nutrition is a key factor, pollutants and toxic exposures, um, other things such as the microbiome are all very important for programming uh, many aspects of health, ranging from our immune health and our metabolic health, and all of these things uh, will influence our risk of both early onset non-communicable diseases like allergy, like neurodevelopmental abnormalities, but also the later onset NCDs such as heart disease, diabetes, dementia, things that may not appear for decades. So our big challenge is, is, is working out how best to do this. So if I were, uh, if you would advise a, a young woman who is planning pregnancy and has asthma, what, what, what could she do to protect her baby from also having allergic diseases? Well, I think we need to approach things from a general perspective, understand specific risk, uh, but the general things would include having a healthy pre-pregnant um, body mass index and a healthy uh, weight gain pattern in pregnancy. Uh, it would include having a well-balanced diet. Um, we already know the importance of dietary fibre, omega-3 fatty acids, these sorts of things uh, during pregnancy. Uh, and we need to uh, obviously avoid adverse exposures we know about, such as smoking. Uh, that's probably one of the most fundamental things we, we need to, to uh, address is the still high rates of, of maternal smoking in many regions of the world, because that is one thing we know uh, will influence lung development. Uh, any foodstuff to be avoided before and during pregnancy, like peanuts? Uh, Sure. I, I think that uh, we no longer think that allergens are causing the epidemic of allergy, uh, that it is all these in other environmental factors which are increasing our predisposition. So there's no evidence that specific avoidance of allergenic foods like peanut, like egg, like milk uh, will prevent uh, allergy, except in the situation where mum uh, is allergic to these things, she should clearly avoid them. But there's, there's no uh, other uh, indication that they should be avoided either in pregnancy, lactation or even in the postnatal period. Okay, thank you very much.